Okay, today is April 12th. You're looking at our beds, and they're doing very, very well. Look at the lettuce, and the cilantro, and the cabbage, and the cauliflower, and the broccoli. Got some squash down here in this small bed. Our okra didn't survive because the ground was too uh, cold. Here's a couple of our um, cucumber plants. We're going to harvest the cucumbers really, really small. We heard that uh, sometimes it's really hard for them to get pollinated if there's not a lot of bees. And one of the local radio guys that's on the uh, uh, radio with his gardening show said that we need to plant an abelia out here and that this abelia will flower all summer long and it'll bring all kinds of pollinating insects. So we're gonna we've stuck the abelia out here and we'll see what happens. Got broccoli. Well we tried garlic we're gonna see what happens. You can see that we have four garlic plants up in between the lettuce. Lettuce is looking really healthy. Over here on the left hand side are leeks. We haven't uh, had leeks before but we're going to try it this time and see how it all works out. This is our broccoli bed and as you can see we've got uh, I don't know a dozen plants maybe but some of them already have broccoli florets on them. Look at this there's one right there there's another one over there so we're going to be harvesting these pretty soon and they will uh, they will produce more broccoli looking forward to that here we have uh, four romaine lettuce to the right of them is another one of those cilantro plants that just loves it this year I don't know why I haven't had any luck before behind the uh, behind the romaine lettuce we have Brussels sprouts. So we're hoping to do uh, do well with those. We have some onions and we have some cabbage. Cabbage is, uh, is looking pretty good. Haven't formed any heads yet but uh, we're getting close. If you can look down in here you can see that that one's starting to form a head right now. Uh, two or three weeks we'll uh, be ready to eat cabbage. This is our lower garden down closer to the woods. The big plant that you see right there is rosemary. It is in its fourth year and it has been harvested and cut back pretty hard this year. The other end of this bed uh, away from the rosemary plant is uh, some spinach and some onions. Uh, those onions have really grown a lot and uh, they're sweet onions and I hope that we have plenty of sweet onions this fall. This bed is college collards, spinach and onion and uh, you can see that those collards right there are doing very very well but we have a couple of plants this one right here and then this one that you see right here that are left over from last year or maybe even two years ago and they're really kind of struggling. I'm not sure what the problem is. Maybe they're just old. And you can see the onions and uh, the spinach as well. So we should have plenty of green stuff this year. So how do you make a raised bed? Well this particular raised bed is made from three two by eights eight feet long. They're nailed or screwed together on the ends and uh, just pretty much laid on top of the ground. Now before we laid them on top of the ground we uh, put out some Roundup to kill the grass that was there and let it do its job and then we tilled up the existing ground and you can see that's pretty hard ground it's just plain old Georgia red clay and then we uh, we filled up the bed with uh, probably three bags of uh, miracle Grow gardening soil couple of bags of uh, cow manure and a couple and a bag of sand and made our bed. Uh, I don't think this bed has vermiculite in it although most of the time we do that. We're actually uh, using what normal people would plant 
shrubbery to make the house pretty up close to the house uh, we're actually using it to uh, grow vegetables so last year we had uh, three years ago we had collards and they just loved it over here and proliferated and we had to dig them up uh, to get rid of them because they came back year after year after year so we've got a few collards planted up here we've got a um, sage plant that you see that's the large plant in the center and we've planted some uh, yellow squash that's closest to us. So we'll see how all that works out.